Hello and welcome back. And basically we're exactly where we were in the last episode. Um, yeah, it seems like I got basically messed up this entire deal. Because Germany got all of this and I got nothing. Yeah. So that stinks in its own right, right there. Because I lost all that. But I think I'm going to stop invading for a little bit. Because I think anyone else I declare war on, I'm basically going to lose all of the land to. Because the Germans are just too powerful for me to, like, fight by myself. And they have so many allies and so many, like, people to help them, like, the kingdom and all that. So, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be a very good idea. But, anyways, this is the important part. If we can, you know, I'm going to make sure I save this. I just remember that. If we can land successfully some troops down there. And actually make a foothold in one of these places. Apparently, I must really not understand the mechanics of how the heck do you get an amphibious invasion. Alright, because it seems like... It seems like to me that I still don't understand this, and it's starting to annoy me. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. I, I guess I'm supposed to do it like that. Both. Well, let's, we have to stay right here, because this is... Alright, yes! Yes, and my train move troops are actually beating them. Which is the weird part. Come on. Come on. I have a good amount of German troops there. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. No, we're still kind of winning. No, no, no. Dang it. Alright. Well. Doesn't seem like we have enough troops to do the assault. Uh, but you know what the good thing is though? Is that we were pretty much destroying them for the longest time. And we already have another five divisions ready. So we just, that means we'll have in total eight, we just need eight divisions left. Which this round's gonna be done. One, two, three, four. Let me just make all these. One, two, three. That should be enough for our entire invasion. And we can actually build some more things. So let's build some more things. So I'll finally get at least two um, HQs just because I think it's finally time. And if I had a little bit more, I would start building some battle cruisers and stuff like that. But, I think for the rest of the time, I think I'm going to invest in, actually, infrastructure. So we can get a little bit powerful, you know, army up. And Millen, you guys deserve it. You guys deserve being my biggest production of cities. You guys basically held us together doing a war that we thought we would not win. I thank you for that. And, we just need, and I think, by next time we do an amphibious invasion, oh shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, no, no, we need it. Click on the ships. No, we want the ships. Get, get. Um. Um, move directly back. Quickly. Apparently we're not being guarded by the Germans anymore. We have to move directly back. We don't want to lose these transports. These transports are the future. And we are gonna we are gonna officially have them by May 9th, 1942. So that's that's not that long away. And since I know there's probably not gonna be anything happening because Um it seems like wars over here are just a bust. Eh, you know what I might do? I might just have a quick war with the the Greeks and officially declare myself the owner of both Greece and Italy. And the policy scan may change a new development of light tanks. Yes. 
So you guys were my light tanks developers. Alright, you guys develop even better light tanks. Right? And are we doing a nuclear reactors? Max size 3. We might want to get bigger reactors because I... How is my reactor being built? Where, where's my reactor? I put it... Oh yeah, I put it on this little place right over here, didn't I? No, I didn't. Wait, where's my reactor? Am I not built it yet? Oh, I haven't even built it yet. <laughs> Doi. A little bit of a stupid moment there. But, I firstly... Well, let's see, well, I had to kill, well, I had to conquer Crete. No, I just need these still two provinces, and I would have basically all I need. Hmm. Now, is it worth it, in the long run, to attack the Italians and suffer some infamy? Because I'm not going down right now, that's for sure. Um. Partisan activity becomes much more, if I become much more liberal. Um. National growth, diplomatic, declaration of war descent plus 1.1. That's not good. I don't want that yet. Um, free market, upgrade time by negative, gearing bonus, tech salary, and if I go this way, I upgrade time plus 10. Ah, dang. Let's do that. <laughs> that gives me more IBM ratings. At least that's what I understood it as. It could be... No. No. No, no, no. No, no. Dang it. They're, they're trying to bomb my... ships. Let's go to here. Because it's the only... Because this place right here has good anti-aircraft guns. These guys are our top priority to make sure they do not die. Repeat, they are our top priority so they do not die. Alright, and once my troops are over here in position, uh, I will start my invasion of Greece. It's It's been a while, I mean, it's been about a thousand years since I've invaded Greece. The, the god has definitely told us that we have to do this. We have to, re we have to destroy the ancient lands of, of Greece. So let's do it. Let's just, go, let's just go right into it. I have no remorse, no mercy. Charge. No, wait, charge right here. You, Thank you. And hopefully this time, maybe, the Germans will actually give me my land I deserve. But let's crush these guys right here. And if, if they are actually holding me, I am really, really mad at my troops. No, 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 they're, they're breaking good. They're breaking slowly but surely. And these new technology develop. Keep up with the tech. Keep up with the tech. I have to keep up with the tech. Um, oh, this might help me a lot. So I'm going to. I'm going definitely heavy on industrial. Because industry really does help me out in the future. Alright. The diplomatic deal, victory, yes. Well, they crushed them. Why can't you crush them? You have more men. Oh, it's my efficiency. See, so I guess there is a reason you should have more um more army i mean an hq but they just i just never use them very often so it's just like i'm not used to that kind of style of playing and yeah we're gonna crush both of them it's just gonna take a little bit and the germans are not advancing so they obviously just say you know what we should have this and I think they just defeated all Bulgaria. No, they still have not annexed Bulgaria. They should annex them very he very soon here. And probably form a puppet out of them. Victory, loss, uh, Um, if that really does become a bad situation where we're not winning it at totally. Okay, so the Germans are kind of helping us. But let me just keep moving down. Because I don't, I do not trust the Germans anymore. A lot, after they took over that territory back there. Ecuador! Some new developments are happening. Oh yeah, we just crushed them. And they are... They're getting quickly defeated by all of my men. As they should be. I mean, I have, a, I have an okay-sized military. Especially with the Germans. 
Like, I'm relying heavily on the Germans, and the Germans are actually being kind and keeping, well, let me keep my land. That's, it's good because I definitely need all this land. Mmm, almost, yeah, they're gonna be crushed. I mean, okay. And let's just go straight to Petra. Smart straight to Petra. Whoever can make it there first. <laughs> yep. The fight for... Oh, I just got some new technology. The fight for the Italian front has... Is over. It ended quite sadly. And... It honestly did not seem like they had much of a chance. I'm just... Just gonna say that now. Though... In their case, they fought nobly. They fought the best they could. And for that, I give them a salute of highest honors. Um, you guys rocked. Even though you guys didn't exactly win, you guys still rock for trying to win. So, there we go. I can be, I can be noble at times when the people I'm defeating is basically now gonna die. He's also a mean move, but... Yep, they have nothing. The armies are depleted. And yes, new squadrons. And please tell me my ships are still here. Please tell me my... How? Ugh. Wait. Yes. It's still here somehow. Okay. Well, let's combine these guys. And make them our top priority. Because these guys are our top priority. Is to keep alive until I'm ready to send them into battle. Which means, that means we only have a little bit less time only until May 10th. And then we will have all we need to invade. And I'll start making more military. Or should I start investing in the light tanks and all that? Um... We definitely might want to have some tanks. I'm, I'm definitely not against that. We definitely might want to have some tanks. So what I'll do is... Uh, I'll start the development of two. I'll start the development of one tank. That's a little bit more reasonable. There we go. And let's finish out the war with with Greece, which we are just stream cream lining them. I mean, they just they just don't seem like they have a chance at all in the world to beat us, which is good for me. I mean, this is like the final battle of all their men. Come on! Oh, these guys aren't attacking. That's why. I was like, why isn't this... Oh! Wow, that was... <laughs> How did Brittany get in there? Huh. That's weird. But of none of my concern. So right now, I'm just trying to... Advanced Construction Engineering. I think that means it's this one though, because yeah, we need advanced construction engineering so we could keep up with everyone else. Naval powers, I, I, I'm not really focused on that, I really am not. Um, guess we could, no, because if we go after that, they're just going to dock us points for it. What do I need for mechanized? Motorized 1942, well it's about that time. It's about 1942-ish, I think. <laughs> you know, just just think, if, if the Pope's calendar is the same as the regular calendar in the world, then yes, it's about the time. Because <laughs> I may have adopted a new calendar, just for to suit my religious needs. Alright, come on, man. Come on. This is the final battle. They, they cannot possibly be able to crush you guys. This is the final battle between us and... Them. Seems like we're not getting much... They are putting up a good fight. I will give them credit. They are putting up a great... They put up a great fight. Right there on Quarleth, that will be remembered as a great battle. They definitely deserve that battle. And... 
but and due to their greatness they are now annexed into the glorious empire of the new Italian Federation so with that I will see you guys next time hello and we are back and something did happen and it's actually really quite cool look the Prince of Belly states have actually almost conquered the commune the commune of India it's actually called the Bajar Commune, but it's really the Commune of India. So let's watch this epic last dance of theirs. I think the last I think they only need Asia and they win. Oh no no no, it's Impal. Impal. And they win. So I'll just keep this running for a couple seconds. And not much has happened on my front really. I've just kind of balanced the economy. Well, really it was trying to balance the economy a little bit better, but kinda unsuccessfully doing that. And we just have motorized infantry, you know, a better set of motorized infantry. Um, I'm investing in the airborne paratroopers now, because yeah, airborne is good. So, I guess I'll just cut to you guys, because this is going to get really boring and really technical, when they actually do invade, or when they actually do finish off. Oh man, this would be perfect, if only they were higher skill. Uh... These guys are the best because they're the highest skill. Anyways, I'll see you guys once these guys have actually conquered them. There you go, people. India is now divided only between the Principality Federation and Delhi. Now, should the Principality try to take over Delhi and create a unified India, they're going to have to fight against the Soviet Union, Canada, and I think the Caribbean Federation. Yep, definitely the Caribbean Federation. Also South Africa, but we don't care about that. But other than that, yeah. They would create they would finally create a unified India. Completely unified. Completely Man, the IB the IBM reading of this of whatever country does take over would be great, but Personally, we want these guys to take over because if they are, if they are, you know, what I mean, if they are the one that take over, take over, you know, they'll we'll probably join our side, and you know, we'll have a great time, and it'd just be great if they take over. But if not, if not, yeah. Though I have a good suspicion that they will probably not want to fight the Delhi just because of their powerful. But we will see. I'll cut to another cutscene now. All right. This will be our final cutscene today. I know we aren't quite ready for our invasion, but I just want to give a quick update. It's now April 1st, 1943. Yes, a lot of time has passed since this happened, but I just wanted to give you know, a quick update because I am going to go to bed here soon. So we have been building up a little bit more infantry. We have so far three transport ships. We have... We have a couple, we have at least two more queued in. We have our paratroopers also queued in, so by March 27th, 1944, it sh they should be all done. Um, I balanced out the economy a, lo a little bit, a little bit more. And our tank finally finished, so yippee, we finally have a tank! <laughs> oh, and yeah, I just want to talk about, just want to talk about, um, just the fact that. You know, I just want to thank you guys for your support and for you for you guys watching this and, you know, leaving comments here and there about funny things. And Oh, cool! My nuclear reactor just finished. That means now I can upgrade this again. I know, I can't really with my economics so, like, tightly managed. But once this finishes, it, I should be able to. Anyways, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and for giving me the support. You know, it really does mean a lot that you guys, you know, tune in and watch it and, you know, like here and there and yeah I mean this is this is like one of the series that I'm really invested in because it's just so much fun to do conquering other nations and just you know uh, strategies mathematics you know just figuring out what the other guy has and I just finished up with with another transport yes so in total we should have about five transports ready to go and destroy these guys when we're ready but yeah I just just want to thank you guys for all the support and also 
you know, I'm kind of wondering what should it, because, hmm, you know, I'll wait, I'll wait a little bit for that question, but for now, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you very much, and, ooh, Uruguay has been formed, and Burgundy has been formed from Brazil, so now, South America almost looks like South America, except for the fact that Bolivia has apparently evaded Chile. Why would you invade them? They're both, they're both really pathetic nations. I mean, only Brazil has a real chance of ever really industrializing. Uh, even those, yeah, those provinces are completely worthless. <laughs> Anyways, next episode, people, I guarantee you, will be our final day, will be the invasion of Britain. I promise you that. And I really do mean it. This will be the invasion of Britain. So, until then, we will see you guys next time.